Man, we are back. We want to take a look at the answers to our reading quiz. So let's check this out real quick. We have the true or false section here. And the first question says, it says, the article says workers are embarrassing about a work concept. Uh, so number one is false. This isn't really about a, a, a being embarrassing. It says workers are, check it out. Workers are increasingly embra embracing, not embarrassing, are increasingly embracing the concept of quiet quitting. This emerging phenomena entails workers slowly abandoning doing things that are not part of their contract. All right, so there you have it. Number two, with quiet quitting, workers do only what, what's in their contract. Okay, so that is in fact true. So number two should be true. How do we know that? Um, it says right here, abandoning things that are not part of their contract. So that is true. All right. Number three, workers who qu quiet quit often walk a mile to work. What? Where did that come from? That is not the case. Um, it doesn't say anything about, about walking to work. Um, there's nothing in there about walking to work if you read it. So, uh, I don't know what that's all about. That's false. Number four, a website said quiet quitting means workers silently withdraw labor. So number four is true. And you can see that right here. It says the website entrepreneur.com defines quiet quitting as follows. Quiet quitting is the process of coming to work to achieve the minimum requirement of your role in the time that you're there, then leaving. There it is. So that's true. Number five, the coronavirus pandemic increased the popularity of quiet quitting. Hmm. Number five is true. All right, so let's skim over here and see if we can find where it talks about the coronavirus. Here you go. It says, quiet quitting has increased in popularity since the coronavirus pandemic. So again, that makes number five true. Number six, people want a more fulfilling work-life balance. Uh, so number six is true. Yeah. Um, here it is. They have decided to achieve a more fulfilling work-life balance and focus on avoiding job burnout. Yeah. There you have it. Number seven, workers who are quiet quitting leave work at five on the dot. Well, that's true. That is a true statement. Uh, so number seven is true. Here's your answer. They do the bare minimum and leave at five on the dot. Number eight, most workers have seen examples of quiet firing in the workplace. Well, let's see here. Number eight, that's false. It says some employers are responding with what is being termed as quiet firing. Uh, a LinkedIn poll found that 48% of employees in a survey have seen quiet firing in the workplace. Uh, so, number eight, 
most workers have seen. The reason it's false is it says right here, 48% of employees surveyed have seen quiet firing. 48% isn't most. Most means more than 50%, so maybe 60 or 70%. So we can't really say that. You can't say most. So that would be false. All right, cool. Next, we want to draw a line. We want to match the synonym on the right with the word on the left, or the word on the left with the synonym on the right. Same thing. Doesn't really matter. All right. Let's take a look. Number one, spreading. Spreading. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to do this a little different. Let me try pulling that out. Not sure I'm going to be able to draw a line with this thing. Um, hmm. Put a line underneath. Let's try it. I don't know if I can or not, but nope. Hold on. It'll let me do that. All right. So spreading. That would be, yeah, won't let me, not sure how to, won't let me go at an angle with that. Won't work. Okay. Uh, we will find a way. We always do. Let's see here. Let's get out the old annotation tool. Yes. All right. I can draw a line here. All right. So spreading goes with J, comes down here, growing, same idea. All right. And embracing, what does embracing mean? Same idea as E, welcoming. If you embrace someone, you welcome them. Phenomenon, phenomenon. Number three would be G happening something that's a phenomena it's happening right now okay designated number four designated would be h h nominated if you're designated you're nominated to do something perceived perceived number five would be b perceived recognized recognized uh, six attitudes attitudes six would be d views views fulfilling fulfilling number seven would be f satisfying man if something is fulfilling to me it means it's satisfying to me I get a lot of joy out of it. Jettisoning. Jettison, jettisoning. That's a big word. Jettisoning. 8A. Ditching. Getting rid of. All right. Responding. Responding. That would be the same as replying. C. Replying. Responding. Same idea. Omitting. And excluding go together, I, omitting or excluding. I hope you were able to get that correct. Pretty useful. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna erase those. Hopefully you got those. Hopefully you got them right. Let's come down here now. And see what else we have. All right, the next section on the test that you were supposed to do is the phrase match. The phrase match. Let's take a look at this. Get out the drawing line again. Uh, number one, a new culture of work has been mm, quietly spreading. Quietly spreading. 
workers are increasingly embracing the concept. Things that are not part, things that are not part of their contract. No offers of overtime. No offers of overtime. Perceived as unreasonable. Perceived as unreasonable work-life balance. Quiet quitting has increased in popularity. Achieve a more fulfilling Achieve a more fulfilling. Oh, work-life balance. That's got to be perceived as unreasonable pressure. That's where that goes. Okay, so we need to fix that. One. All right, so hold on a second. Let's let's change. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Perceived as un as unreasonable pressure. That goes there. Okay. Let's change the color. That'll be easier. So that goes there. And qu uh, quiet, achieving a more fulfilling work-life balance. They do the bare minimum. They do the bare minimum. Leave at five on the dot. 48% of employees in a survey. All right, cool. So those are the answers for that. Hopefully everybody was able to get that. If you need to pause the video to capture all of that, please, please do so. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna clear those. All right. Let's head down here. On the last part of this test, we want to see if we can do the spelling. Were you able to figure out what these words are? All right. Well, let's see if we can do this. I'm just going to make my self huge right here and let's see what we have here we've got number one increasingly what do you guys think it may help you out to just look at the synonym match increasingly embracing embracing let's just put that in there embracing there you go the concept this emerging phenomenon phenomenon that's a long word phenomenon slowly blank doing things slowly slowly um uh, what is that slowly let's see if it if i can find it up here it's going to be in here too slowly hmm The quiet quitting. Hmm. Slowly abandoning doing things. So that's what it is. If you can't figure it out, just go up there and find the phrase. Slowly abandoning. So that would be abandoning. 
abandoning doing things. Okay. Slowly abandoning doing things. I think we got it all there. All right. Stepping outside your designated, designated, these are tough, designated obligations. It's the silent blank of extra labor. It's the silent, it's the silent, uh, let's see. It's the silent withdrawal, withdrawal of extra labor. Man, are you getting these? Number six, you know, the best way to get these is probably to have out your, uh, have out your article in front of you and look for the phrase, blank as unreasonable pressure perceived, perceived, perceived or thought of as unreasonable pressure. Number seven, people are blank their attitudes. People are, um, no, people are blank. People are blank their attitudes. People People are, what is that? People are reassessing, reassessing their attitudes. Is that spelled right? It sure is. That's a long word. Focus on avoiding job burnout, burnout. Blank unpaid duties, jettisoning, jettisoning unpaid duties. Ten, they once blank carried out. They once, they once voluntarily, voluntarily carried out. Man, that's. Voluntarily, that just means they did it for free. Do the bare minimum, minimum, minimum. All right. And then 12, blank them from meetings. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be omitting them from meetings. That's a fancy word for saying uh, they're not allowed into the meetings. So... There you have it, man. There's a lot of great words there. I want to encourage you, if there is a new word, man, write it down in a, in a word journal. Look it up in the dictionary. Maybe write a example sentence next to it. These are academic words. These are fantastic. I hope you did well on the test itself. Thank you for following me and joining me for the answer key. We'll see you again soon. Bye, students.